As the 50th anniversary approaches of the first human to step foot on the moon, we remember a bygone era. Space City back in the early 1960s captured the hearts and imagination of the entire world. And in many ways, that era, era and its legacies are still felt in one Clear Lake neighborhood where many of the astronauts actually lived. Reporter Jessica Borg takes us back in time to Timber Cove. So this is Taylor Lake and this is what originally drew developers. But even developers couldn't imagine what Timber Cove would eventually become, a mostly middle-class neighborhood, but with homeowners who were international celebrities. So originally this whole area was uh, farmland. This marketing brochure from 1958 shows what was coming, the country's manned space flight center. Deborah Griffin, an historian and longtime resident, says among the first homeowners here, NASA astronauts. John Glenn and Scott Carpenter chose lots next to one another at the head of the canal. Other pioneering Mercury astronauts, Gus Grissom and Wally Shira, were also next door neighbors who valued their privacy. So they designed these homes with no windows on the front. No windows meant the hordes of camped out camera crews couldn't peek through. I think it's important to remember that the original seven astronauts, they never intended to be famous people. They were military guys. During each space mission, the country waited anxiously for their safe return. Residents here would gather at the neighborhood pool in the shape of the Mercury capsule. When the astronauts were safely back on planet Earth, people would gather at the pool and they'd have a big party. The Apollo missions remain a huge source of pride in this community. I definitely feel like my home is a part of history. Alyssa Emmons lives in the original home of Apollo 13 astronaut Jim Lovell. Old magazine photos of him line her shelves, and she got the surprise of her life when the legendary astronaut knocked on her door. He says, you don't know us, but we used to live here. Um, so immediately... I'm like starstruck and just dumbfounded. So I said, well, come on in, it's your home. <laughs> Lovell was revered on these streets when he came back after that near tragedy from an explosion on the spacecraft. People lined this esplanade, both sides, and they stood in silent testimony to the heroics of not just the astronauts, but all of NASA to get them home safely. Another cherished neighbor, Pete Conrad, the third man to walk on the moon. He was always known as the colorful astronaut. Parties at his backyard pool drew Hollywood movie stars. Raquel Welch swam in this pool. Truman Capote enjoyed a drink. Also in Timber Cove, the late Jack Kinsler, known as NASA's Mr. Fix-It. Sylvia Kinsler is proud of her husband's innovation, one that became iconic. He figured out how to get the American flag to the moon's surface and make it fly. The ideas he came up with. And she has fond memories of that time. Party, party, party. <laughs> lots of fun. Yeah, it's just lots of fun. Timber Cove residents will tell you much has stayed the same since those days. They still have astronauts living among them and still gather at the neighborhood pool here to celebrate events, both big and small. Jessica Borg, KHOU 11 News. What a great story. What a great neighborhood, huh? Yeah. To be there at that time, it is uh, T-minus 10 days here. We're going to touch down on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. You can join us Saturday night, July 20th at 7 for One Giant Leap, the moon and beyond. We're going to look back at the Apollo 11 mission and its connection to Houston. We'll also focus on future missions to the moon and to Mars at some point.